You know, a lot of you have been very interested in what my full opinion on the brand new Labrador Retriever is, but I really just could not give a full opinion on it until I had a bit more time to play around with it. And now that we've had a bit more time to play around with it, I can finally form a full opinion. And I think a fully leveled Labrador Retriever is going to be quite useful if you're an avid bird hunter. However, if you're not somebody who likes to hunt birds a lot, then you're probably not going to find many uses for it. But as you can see, they retrieve pretty quickly. That is not too bad at all, given it's very, very close for that one right there. But one of the cool things is you don't have to continue telling it to go harvest. If there's more harvests in the area, it's going to go back there and continue to grab the rest of them. There's also a really cool perk that makes them swim faster, which you guys will see very, very soon throughout this video. It's a, a quite a useful perk to get. And there is the very last of the ducks that we took down. Grabbing it right next to the shore and dropping it in front of us. There is the uh, three ducks that we took down. Let's take a look at them. 742 for that little male there. And then we got a female and we've got another male right here. Let's go ahead and praise our dog real quick. Get that bond up a bit. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the different uh, traits that the dog can have. Because we did get level 30 companion finally. We got this during yesterday's live stream. And then we've almost hit max level on Retriever, which that just helps it retrieve a little bit better. But if we go through the traits, the ones that I went with is your dog is less burdened by carrying harvest. I went with your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal is about to be spooked. Your dog will run further away and search for something to retrieve. Your dog is naturally more willing to work and has increased focus. Your dog swims faster, which is probably the most useful one out of all of these. And then the final one is your dog retrieves at longer distances and is less burdened by carrying harvest. Now, let's go ahead and get a few more of these uh, birds down and see what else we can get this dog to do. So I think this will be a very good opportunity to get the dog to grab something in the water because there's no way that uh, it's gonna run all the way around. So let's have her retrieve that duck over there. And just like that, off she goes. As you can see, the webbed paws trait is absolutely insane. That is one speedy pupper right there. And it helps out so much in terms of just retrieving stuff really quickly. If you're a bird hunter, this DLC will help you out greatly. Again, if you don't hunt birds, this is not going to be for you, I don't think. But if you're an avid bird hunter and do a lot of waterfowl hunting, this is going to be a phenomenal DLC to get. And uh, just like that, here she comes back. She's got the duck and is returning over here. And there she is. She's got it going over. And already over here. Pretty quick. It, it's very, very quick. So I do think that it is going to be very good for the bird hunters. It is not going to be just like a novelty thing. It actually does have quite a bit of usefulness if you are a bird hunter. But that's kind of where this DLC ends, is bird hunting. It, I didn't really find it too useful for retrieving rabbits or retrieving turkeys or upland birds. But for waterfowl, it is almost a necessity if you do a lot of waterfowl hunting. Because what happens many times when you're waterfowl hunting is, let's say I'm out right now retrieving all of my ducks by hand. These would all spook off. There'd be no chance of me getting back to the blind in time to take down any of these widgeon right here. And so I'd have to wait for the next flock to come over. But with the dog, I can just have it go out and retrieve everything while I'm waiting for all of these birds to come down within range so I can take some shots on them and get a few more for the dog to go claim. Now, one thing I've really noticed with this location right here is the widgeon love to land over there. So it's making it really tough to get them down anywhere close to me. We're just going to go for that shot right there. Uh, can we get that one? No, that's not going to be a hit, unfortunately. Maybe we can get a shot into it with the 22 Hornet. And we did. Okay. That was pretty crazy. So what we're going to do is tell the dog to go over there. And see if she can recover it all the way over there. That is going to be a long run. 179 meters. That may be out of range, but she's already brought us the other one. So we got something to claim in the meantime. Well, there she goes running off in the distance. The question is, will that duck be out of range? It looks like it is. So I've talked to a few of the other content creators throughout the community that have access to this uh, dog DLC early and it seems like the maximum range for retrieving the ducks is about 150 meters. Give or take a little bit, 130, 150, it seems like that is about the max range that they can go. 
So that's a little bit unfortunate that you can't get them clear out to 200 meters or even more to go retrieve your birds for you, but it is what it is. I suppose there had to be some type of limitation here or there. So before we move on to this next segment of this little video, let's talk a little bit about the one issue I did run into while going for waterfowl with the brand new Labrador Retriever. I found that any time that I was set up in kind of a weird area, whether it be next to a dock or next to a cliffside, if one of those birds ended up falling on the cliffside or on the dock or any type of object, then the dog does have trouble retrieving them. So if you're going to set up for birds and use the dog, be sure to set up in an area where there's not like a bunch of weird places where the, uh, the birds could get stuck because that does seem to inhibit the dog from actually being able to do its job. So a little bit unfortunate, but I guess it's understandable that it would be a little bit tougher to get an animal to go up on top of a chair to, re to recover a bird or something like that. So I get it. It's just unfortunate, so just be aware of that if you're going to be going into this DLC and hunting waterfowl. And that right there is going to be a dead cottontail rabbit. Now we're going to do a test because the next one is going to be about the, the rabbits and also the birds. Is it really faster to have the dog go for it? Or is it quicker to just run over there yourself? It definitely looks like it is going to be faster to have the dog go for it. But not by a lot. I mean, this is why I was saying it's primarily going to be beneficial to waterfowl hunters. But you can still find some use out of it if you're hunting other things. Just not nearly as much. And I really don't think it's a necessity if you're an upland bird hunter or if you're a rabbit hunter or even a turkey hunter. I don't think it's going to be a necessity by any means at all. Okay, so we got some green winged teal about 180 away. You know, we might as well take one of those out just to... Uh, Add to this video a little bit. And uh, let's move as close as we can. That is a white-tailed doe. <laughs> what were you doing there, ma'am? But we're going to move a little bit closer and see if we can get that dog to actually retrieve it within a, uh, a reasonable distance. So it's right there, 150 away. Let's see if it can do a retrieve at 150 away. Because I had heard that it's around like 130 to 150 for the distance. Let's see if that's true. Really uh, curious if it'll be able to go all the way over there and recover that duck. And I mean, it, it did kind of move over further to go straight to it. I, I think she's going to get it. I think she's going to recover that duck at 150 meters. Yep. Okay. So it does seem the range is 150. I was getting conflicted inform or conflicting information as to whether it was 130 or 150. It looks like 150 meters is going to be the retrieve distance for a max level dog with all of the traits that help with retrieving. So keep in mind, this is a max level dog. When you first get your dog, it's not going to be nearly this good. It's going to be able to retrieve out to like 80 or 90 meters, but not much more than that. But once you get it fully leveled up, which only took me three and a half hours, you're able to actually retrieve stuff from up to 150 away, which is not bad. That is not bad at all. All right, Charlie, uh, go recover that bear for me, please. No? Okay. There is another rabbit right there. Let's go ahead and drop a shot into it if we can. And that's a dead rabbit. Once again, like, by the time we get over to it, the dog will have just got there. But yeah, not really worth using the dog for the rabbits in my personal opinion. But uh, it is quite nice for waterfowl. And remember that the dogs can pick up anything that is a class 1 animal. So that means turkeys and capercallies included in that list. So anything that's class 1, it can go to retrieve for you. But it cannot retrieve something like a bobcat, for example. Because that's a class 3 animal. So we've got some pheasants over here. Let's hope that we actually get a shot on them. I would really like to get a couple of them down to have the dog go recover those. As I do think that it looks really clean the way that they pick up the pheasants. There's some animals that the dog goes to pick up where it doesn't look super natural like the turkey or the geese. But with the pheasants, it actually looked really clean. So I'd love to get one of them down if we can. Question is, where are the pheasants? There we go. I 
don't think we hit that. Unfortunately, it popped up at a time I did not expect and was right in the trees. So I don't think we got them, but they are going down over here. There we go. We got it to take down, or we got to take down a pheasant so we can send our dog after it. Now let's see how she does. And she's got it. But yeah, with the pheasant, as you can see, it actually looks quite good the way that she's carrying it. It was kind of tough to see because of the shadows there, but it looks a lot cleaner than like the geese and the turkeys, which we will take a look at very shortly. Or at least the turkeys will uh, take a, a look at very, very shortly because those are here on New England. We actually hunted geese in the first video, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. You'll be able to see what it looks like when the dog recovers a goose for you. That is a 1 to 2 kg track for a cottontail rabbit, which has the chance of being a diamond one. So I'm going to track that down and hope that it is. I've tracked probably like 7 or 8 max weight estimate tracks here on uh, New England Mountains, and... All of them ended up being golds, so that's unfortunate, but hopefully if we just keep doing it, we'll eventually get a diamond one. Oh, we got a pheasant right here, though. Let's go ahead and take this little guy down. Come on, flush for us. Flush for us. All right, go get it. <laughs> no. No, not over there. So it, it, there are some times where if it's too close, your dog will think that it's already close enough to you and just completely ignore it and try to find something else. So that's what happened there. Let's see though. Let's see if this looks clean. Let's turn off the uh, outline real quick. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, I do think the pheasants are one of the like uh, cleanest Cleanest looking things in terms of the dog carrying it. It looks a lot better than stuff like the geese. Oh, there we go. There it is. So we finally caught up to the rabbit after a long time of tracking. Let's have our dog retrieve it and we'll see if this is a diamond. It's probably, once again, another gold that is really close as 99% of them are. And that is a... <laughs> that is a... Not exactly the most efficient hop and a skip through what is not that deep of water, but at least it's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. It is a gold 1.81, as is the typical outcome of tracking these maxway tracks. Okay, so we got a turkey right there. Let's go ahead and take the turkey down about 150 away, and that is a dead bird right there and so is that one there is more of them to take down but uh we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at two let's see if we can get the dog to go and recover them it's gonna be a little bit of a farther distance than i think what it can retrieve so we'll see in fact uh now that i think of it maybe it isn't maybe it'll be good enough that's our turkey right there she is booking it over to it is she gonna grab the first or the second one that we shot Looks like the first one. And there it goes. Just zoop like a vacuum right into the mouth of that dog. That's crazy. That is crazy the way that turkey just like gets sucked up like a vacuum cleaner. That is crazy. And here she comes over with it. This is what I was meaning by a little more derpy <laughs> bringing something like a turkey over. <laughs> So it doesn't look super great carrying the turkey over, but that's kind of to be expected, I guess. The turkeys are pretty massive. It's crazy that they're even able to bring you a turkey in the first place, so it is what it is. Okay, I see what happened. It was a bad shot, so this turkey was actually way farther away than I expected. You know, I guess in this situation, it actually would be useful to have the retriever with you because you can just send it out as you're tracking down the turkey, and it will save you a little bit of time. So I guess I could actually, now that we play it around a little bit more, see the possibility of this being useful for some upland bird situations and turkey situations. Like this definitely is going to save us a little bit of time if she was able to actually grab it, but she she didn't grab it. So that's uh, that's not good. By the time you actually get it, we're probably going to be already to it. 
I wonder where I hit this turkey for it to be bleeding for this long. It must have been like a tail shot. There we go. So yeah, I guess a little time saved, but not a ton. And yeah, it was a tail shot. Okay, that explains a lot. So overall, what I would say about the uh, Labrador Retriever is it's really good if you're hunting ducks and geese, but it's not quite as useful if you're going for rabbits and pheasants and turkeys and other upland birds and stuff like that. It's just uh, not going to save you a whole lot of time. So I would recommend that if you are a big waterfowl hunter, this is definitely a very good choice as a DLC to pick up because it actually will speed things up quite a bit and it will make it so that you spook way less flocks of birds. So it is very useful for waterfowl. However, if you're an upland game bird hunter or you're a rabbit hunter, this isn't necessarily going to be nearly as game changing. But I mean, if you just want a cute pup to have around with you, then, you know, by all means, go ahead and get it. But I wouldn't recommend it if you're just going for upland birds and rabbits. But if you're a waterfowl hunter, it is pretty much a necessity, I would say. Anyway, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this video right here. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the brand new Labrador Retriever DLC and uh, also what you thought of this video right here. Is there anything else you guys would like to know? Let me know that as well. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button as it's completely free and it helps out the channel more than you guys could ever imagine. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!